the mantid, the mantis, the insectoids. This uh, video is for tea, honey. Tea, honey, said Gina, honey. Can we talk about the aliens tonight? And, um, yep, we can talk about the aliens, tea, honey. We're going to talk about the insectoids because you requested the aliens. Even though you may not even be awake to watch this video, we're going to talk about it. We are. And we may not talk too long, but that's okay. We can do it. I'm going to do it. If you are just tuning in, you may still be watching that video from earlier. It was, it, there's a spike in the um, ether. It literally went poof, just like that. Hello, Michael, Marcelo. So, um, we got a pretty picture. It's not too pretty. Of a mantid or the mantis. And it uh, they do look like praying mantis. I remember when I was little finding a stick. It looked like a stick praying mantis. It was brown. I thought, is this a real insect? It was the first time I ever seen one. But they look just like the one over on that area. Way over there on the edge. Well, if you're just tuning in. Hello, Mushka, honey. Let's, let's read about this, um, the mantids. The insectoid. Most of the information about aliens comes from abductee reports and there are numerous ones so this is story time with Gina we're going to speak about the aliens tonight uh, because somebody named T <laughs> I guess he wanted to talk about the aliens and I don't mind talking about aliens because I happen to believe that they are real some may call them demons but they there are a species that look like insects hello apple brooks honey hello Philip. Um, this is really integral, interesting. Some say that the mantids are benevolent and others say quite the opposite. It's difficult to ascertain, but one thing is certain. The mantids are fearful beings. What their agenda is, is anyone's guess. They really don't know what the agenda is. Much like other alien groups, there seems to be a common thread in interfering with and studying and harvesting and manipulating human DNA with a lot of conflicting reports. It's hard to know if these aliens are good or bad guys. Mantis aliens are perhaps the most mysterious and unsettling of all extraterrestrials. These beings appear with many abduction scenarios. I haven't really heard I heard of one person who specifically talked about this one species of being abducted by, she was like the queen, some kind of queen insect. And um, he rode on her ship and it went into the ocean and then it went up into, at one point, it went up into wherever it went and he saw a birthing center up there in the sky, up there in space. And it was supposed to be, he knew it was part of his... Um, sperm or something that created these beings hello johanna highly evolved these beings okay oh my goodness the abductees report the ominous presence of these entities looming over their beds as they awake in the dead of night while the mantis is not as widely reported as the gray and nordic alien it still holds important roles within the extraterrestrial contact scenarios and then you have the native american and african folklore let's see if we can get this um alien insects um alien insect stone paintings and i think we've seen some in the now this is not going to do it you well this is gina honey this is just some pictures of these um insectoids well there's a lot of different type there really is Wow, but there are engravings. Let's see if we can find those engravings, you all. The engravings, insectoids, insectoids, ancient Egypt. Let's do that. E G Y P T. See if we get that. Um, that's not a relief. That that's not it either, you all. How come I can't find it? Okay, I remember something like this. That looks like a mantis right here. 
it does, a space alien. There were other other um, stone etchings that had the insects in them. But you know what? This does not appear to be pulling up any because, Gina, you don't know which ones to do. I don't, you. I really don't. NASA is going to investigate these right here. We're reading about the insectoids. And um, look at this. Time for disclosure. We can flip over to this one, too. Time for the disclosure of these alien species with the big eyes and their, their fingers like that. When I first started doing this, someone said, Gina, if you hear the outside, do not go outside because it's these types of beings right here. They said, do not go outside. What do insectoids want and why are they present on these earth? Nancy Thames. Let's see what she said. The most common in the series. The aliens of the reptoid species are less common. Um, and even more rare are the so-called Nordics. Similar to humans of the Norman, northern type, they have fair hair and blue eyed. The strangest and rarest are perhaps the insect aliens. If you're just tuning in, this is T wanted to talk about the aliens. We're going to talk about the insectoids. They know almost nothing about them. Insects are also, the man, they're called mantis or mantis men because they most look like a tweak week tall. Are we still here, you all? I want to make sure we're still here. Okay, we're here. We're here. We're here. Hello there, Justice. According to eyewitness, the insectoids are tall, not less than two meters tall, with a lean and slender body, thin limbs, and they have triangular mantis-like heads. They've got small eyes and a tiny mouth. They do not wear clothing and their bodies are covered with something like a rigid and segmented chitinous shell such as an insect. They differ in male and female, but externally these differences are almost imperceptible. What is the most curious about them is that the insectoids most often seen off spacecraft and not during the abductions but by chance in his park or other place. Therefore, there is a version of an insectoid that they are not from another planet, but from another dimension. However, when the insectoids are observed with grays during abductions and experiments, they behave as senior officials. Has, have you all seen them? Have you seen any insectoids with grays? I didn't... I wasn't sure that they would, um, they work with the grays. That's kind of scary. There have been few reported cases where the insectoids have personally <gasps> performed cruel and painful experiences with humans. Okay, now we got a witness right here in New Jersey. This is, this is wild. In 2002, two witnesses Two residents of New Jersey went fishing at Stevens State Park near Hackenstown. They were fishing quietly on the river bank when one of them suddenly felt a strange vibration in their right ear. He looked away and he saw a mantis-like creature about two meters high. Has anyone saw? Have you heard a strange vibration in your ear? And you look, but you didn't see one. But what if you did have a strange vibration in your ear like this? Would that mean that there was like one of these mantis standing around you? Look at this. The creature was standing on the shore and his arms were bent in prayer, like praying mantis. His head was triangular and small. And the creature had a black and gray color. And then it disappeared as it suddenly appeared. Now, this is, I think this is the black and gray color. It appeared and it disappeared. And grays have great big black eyes too. And they're gray. But the mantis is gray with the, the hands like that. 
So did they create the greys, these praying mantis? And where do the reptilians come in, you all? They're bound to come in somewhere. In 2004, in the area of Stevens Park, another fisherman saw a similar creature. He tells, I caught his movement with the corner of my eye. And when I turned around, I saw a humanoid. He was tall like a man. His legs were long and his knees turned back like a grasshopper. He looked at me with huge, slightly laid back black eyes on a triangular head. His whole appearance reminded me of a mantis. His body was somehow irregular and unstable, but it was clear that his, this creature was strong. I stared at it for a few seconds and then it disappeared as if it had leaked out into another reality. Later, when I thought what he looked like, I remembered that his hands were not like a mantis, but they were humanoid fingers. How could they be humanoid fingers? And then they got more. Then they got more. If you're just tuning in, T, although he's probably not going to be here, he's probably asleep since he's on the other side of the world, he wanted to talk about aliens tonight. So when he sees this video, even though he's not present, he will know that Gina Honey did this video for him. T, honey, that's right, I did. In 2014, another witness, an eyewitness, saw a similar creature, again in the same Stephen State Park area. Maybe these creatures have a base somewhere nearby. They probably have a base underground, you all, is um, what's really. Did they not take, um, they took the Indians or the Native Americans underground. They were like the ants. Who are the, co the conies? The conies make their homes in the rocks. Remember that? That is in the Proverbs. I think that who are the conies? The conies make their homes in the rock. Okay, the conies. The conies, now listen how they're talking about them. They're folk. They're calling them feeble folk. The conies are but a feeble folk. Yet they make their houses in the rocks. Who are the conies? The rock badgers. The rock badgers are creatures of little power, but make their homes in the rock. Coney Island? Food for thought? What, what is Coney Island? I've heard of it. Coney Island. A peninsula, peninsular neighborhood and entertainment area in southwestern section of New York City of Brooklyn. The neighborhood is bounded by Brighton Beach and Manhattan Beach to its east and lower New York Bay and Gravesea to the north. Includes a subsection of the Seagate on its west. Coney Island, all you need to know. The Atlantic Ocean. Um, okay, Coney Island, but I want to know who the Coneys are. The Coneys make their homes in the rocks. What kind of creatures are they? You think they're a badger? I, I don't know if they would be a badger. Frail as they are, they get plenty of food. Let's read this. The conies are but a feeble folk, yet they make their tiny house. They make their houses in the rocks. There are four small creatures, wisest of the wise. There are four small creatures, wisest of the wise. They are the ants. Frail as they are, they get plenty of food in for the winter. The marmots, they are vulnerable as they are. They manage to arrange for rock-solid homes. Then the locusts, the Shephanim, are not mighty people, yet they make their houses in the rocks. The Hyraxes, I don't know who these are, you all. Does someone know who a coney is? 
Um, Gina, why are you talking about the conies? Well, even Solomon spoke of four animals that are little upon the earth, yet exceedingly wise. I want to see the, the wisdom of the coney. I wish I could see a picture of a coney. Okay, there's a coney. It's a furry creature. Okay, so it's a little fur thing. Now I know what a coney is. If you all didn't know what a coney is, and you've had that scripture stuck in your mind because you read it over and over and over and over and over, and now the scriptures are embedded in your mind. Now this is a coney. They make their homes in the rocks. Okay, that's enough about the conies. You are talking about the insects. They are. Um... They were talking about these insectoids. <laughs> but you got caught up on, Gina, you got caught up on something other than an insect. I know I did. I, I know I did. I did. <laughs> In 2014, they saw a similar creature again in the Stevens State Park. They think they may have a base somewhere nearby creature was not on the shore but in the water near the shore so in the beginning the eyewitness confused him with another fisherman but when he looked at it better the man realized he was not human at all the man shares this you all look at what he said i was going home on newburgh road as i was driving over the bridge and driving over the river, I saw something like a man in the water near the shore. I took a closer look and I realized it was something else. I even slowed down the car to see it better. It was much higher than two meters and it had long thin arms hanging to its body. Its color was greenish brown and at the same time it was translucent. I could even see the landscape through its body. It was a bright sunny day, but it certainly wasn't a glimmer of water. Translucent body. In 2011, a Connecticut resident came home from work and drove by the River Thames. Thames. And as he passed Pequo Avenue, I can't say it right, near Lon New London, he saw a reddish brown creature on the side of the road resembling a large insect. The creature quickly ran two feet to the side of the road and jumped into the drainage shaft. You all, this is happening in people in where people live at. These these beings. In 2015, in the Big Basin Redwood State Park of California, an eyewitness saw something resembling a mantis 2.5 meters high. Does anyone know how high 2.5 meters is? How tall? Is it like, um, I don't know, nine feet or something? I don't know. He saw the creature in just a few seconds, after which it became invisible and disappeared. In 2001... A London resident saw two mantis in his bedroom. And in the morning, he woke up and he barely opened his eyes, seeing two humanoid creatures. Seven and a half, thank you, Michael. In resembling the mantis, they, they were hovering over him. One had clothes on that looked like black chitin armor. Oh, wow. One mantis had uh, looked like armor on, like a beetle. And the other was a classic dark green insectoid without the armor. The limbs and the bodies of these creatures consisted of segmented parts, such as the bodies of insects. And they were taller. Tea honey. Did tea honey come in here? Tea honey, let me talk to you. Did you not want an alien? You wanted to talk about aliens tonight, tea honey. Did you? How long have you been in here, tea honey? <laughs> This is nice to see you, T. We talking about the aliens just for you. You put out your request. And um, yeah, with the insects. Insectoids right there. We got you. We have got you, T. In 2001. Okay, that's right. The limbs and the bodies of these creatures consisted of segmented parts, such as the bodies of insects. And they were taller than men. The man said, one of them 
lowered his head because he was taller than the ceiling. His head was triangular with a sharp chin and there were huge eyes at the top surrounded by something like eyebrows. Their faces did not express anything. One mantis bent over me and there was something long and metallic in his hand. A green ray like a laser shot from this object and struck me right in the eye. I was hurt, but I couldn't move. I even thought I could scream and I couldn't hear my voice at all. Then they threw something like a thin stick right into my skull and I could feel them doing something in it. Oh my gosh. I panicked and I closed my eyes. Then I heard some hissing sound. And when I opened my eyes, there was no one in the room but me. You are that is wild. That is wild. They met over him and they fired a green ray laser at him and it shot. It struck him in the eye and he felt he knew his hurt, but he couldn't move. And he tried to scream, but he couldn't hear his voice. Then they threw something like a thin stick right into his skull and he could feel them doing something in there. And then he panicked and he opened his eyes and he heard a hissing sound. And when he came through, he couldn't see nobody but him in the room. That is creepy. It's really creepy. I don't know if I'd like it. The date of the incident was not specified. And a man and his girlfriend were kidnapped together at home. They wake up in an unfamiliar room where there were tall insect-like creatures. The woman remembers. When they caught me and started pushing me somewhere... I saw my friend laying on a table and doing something with him. Now, wait a minute. It was as if they were undergoing surgery like surgeons, I thought. Are these aliens? And they look like mantis. As I watched my friend, oh, I saw his head and his body cut. They cut it like a piece of raw meat. They pulled out some bones parts of his brains and others they did all of this quickly and silently making straight and precise cuts then darkness fell and i don't remember anything else it says unfortunately the site does not indicate what happened to that man did the man remain alive after such an operation or did he not come back alive as his girlfriend did okay now we've seen those um we saw animals like the cows and stuff precision cutting and um there wasn't one incident of a man who they did that precision cutting to just like they said right here it's kind of creepy Please remember, we all have different opinions and think before you speak or write something that is cruel to others. After all, we are only humans wishing you clear skies and white eyes. And if you want to share your experience or just leave a comment in this area below, read or listen. We are the change that we've been waiting for. Have you witnessed an unidentified flying object? You are not alone. Whether you think UFOs or are black projects, extraterrestrial craft, something else altogether, or you just don't know. Again, you are not alone unconditional love right there unconditional love you see that's one sentence two words one sentence the road we all get to walk unconditional love is like the sun isn't that great love and reg <laughs> happy quarantine thank you nancy thames thames you are that was really cute it was cute the ending was but the insectoids um this was the type with the big black eyes and gray skin right there so they are a type of species and you can read more about them you can um they didn't say anything about those right there because they look they look kind of scary it's like remember the pinching mouth like that from the was it the predator it did it had the mouth that opened and when it opened it had all these little teeth inside of it i wouldn't want to see nothing like that 
I think I might rather see a regular praying mantis thing, but not nothing like that thing right there. Yeah. Oh, you found a mantis the other day. Another predator. Well, I guess. I guess you all. I am going to go. This is a short video since um, I did a video right before this. And we don't need to talk anymore about those insectoids. The mantids and stuff like that. But they are one of the species. And um, they did precision cuts. I guess you, you don't come back alive if they do that to you. You just end up missing. I guess when they made the agreement with the extraterrestrials. It wasn't just one species. It was many species. Probably if you think about it. Many different types of species. Um, that they made the agreement with since the mantis were with the grays you think they worked with them yeah um, Michael honey you had some aliens come after you let's see the praying mantis female bites the head off the male after they mate oh it's kind of gross <laughs> that is that is kind of gross black jack gator honey we don't want to have no nightmares tonight we do not but I am going to go. And thank you all for being on here. And with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello. From my heart to yours, love you. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, you all. And um, thanks for listening. And check out the video before this because there was a spike. A spike. Um, 